started the non-profit organisation We Swim Wild to make a change and I love what I do because I get to spend time in the great outdoors which I absolutely love and I also get to use that time to make real tangible change. I think our project shows that you don't have to be in a lab or a scientist to work towards that change. I got into wild swimming after I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. It really helped with the swelling in the joints. I decided to start swimming all over the place, from the sea to the mountains to waterfalls, wherever I could find. Being outside for me in all weathers and any time of the year is really important. I have a connection with the environment around us, so I'm not sat in front of a television, I'm not inside four walls. I feel free. We also use that time wisely to protect the wild spaces. We hope to map the levels of microplastics across all UK waters so that we can lobby the UK government to start testing for microplastics as an emergent contaminant. In terms of plastic pollution, I think everyone can do their little bit at home. But if you're just organised and you can take a refillable bottle or refillable containers for your food, they might seem like small changes, but over a month, over a year, they build up and they can make a significant difference to the amount of plastic that you use and the amount of single use in the environment.